November meeting of the uh, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee to order. Uh, now we have four out of five. Um, and we have a special guest tonight uh, zooming in, which is the Honorable Carolyn Brennan, our town uh, administrator. I would entertain a movement to jump directly to her item, which is 3A, Conversation on Code of Conduct. Uh, if anyone would so move. Sure. Move. In a second? Sure, yes. All right. All in favor? Aye. All right. It's unanimous. So we don't need a roll count. Um, so this uh, stems back to to give a brief history to anyone who's not familiar with the situation. This goes back to, was it May? It was May of this year that it was brought to our attention. Someone sent us a screenshot of a Facebook post by one of our select board members. Um, try not to use too colorful of language. So was expressing her opinion with another person I don't know um, about some things that had been discussed. Uh, I know they'd been discussed at the planning board because that's where I first heard it, but I think it was obviously discussed at the select board meeting and it was an effort by the Valley CDC uh, expressing their interest in, or that they had gotten an option to purchase the, uh, is it the Econo Lodge, I think? Yeah. Yes. Um, which is right, I believe, in front of the Whole Foods mm -hmm. Mall there. Um, that with the downturn, the economic downturn, um, there was an opportunity for them to purchase that, and they were looking to uh, engage the town in what's known as a friendly 40B to uh, convert it into um, affordable housing and also some other, uh, I think there was uh, maybe some, a few units for homeless and um, and so that, getting back to the Facebook comment, the back and forth between the two, the, the select board member who we feel I think rightly um, presents a face of the town said if I don't quote this exactly but I think said that bringing affordable housing and that effort to town would bring crime and crap and uh, so our initial uh, impression of what she meant was not received well we found it uh, offensive and so it took us a while to figure out what to do and we finally uh, engaged our select board liaison and asked him to speak to Carolyn who said she would rather um, or from what he said she would rather address this in writing than a bunch of hearsay so then we worked on drafting a letter which I uh, was a little slow to get out of the gate, but I finally uh, printed it and signed it and took it to Carolyn last month, right? Uh, mm -hmm. It was like the day before our October mm -hmm. meeting. And so uh, I asked her if she would be willing to um, come speak with us uh, at our November meeting. And so here we are. Um, in that um, letter, I don't remember exactly if I mentioned it, but I know in our conversation, um, I had said that uh, I was not looking to um, uh, attack or um, otherwise uh, assassinate anyone, but would rather have us take this as a, well, first we, we were hoping that we would hear from that member and get clarification on what she meant, hoping that that might ease our discomfort. Um, and then I think one of the other things that we talked about was um, 
hope that going forward we could maybe do some kind of code of conduct or something that would make people aware and somewhat be able to hold them accountable to certain standards. And um, I don't think this is the first time anyone's been offended in a public setting in Hadley. And uh, when I met with Carolyn in her office, we actually talked about the fact that there were <clears throat> there was a uh, Pat had found another town had come up with this and that it was not new that a lot of towns have people at the end of their work days get into their public roles and they've lost their filters <laughs> to put it nicely. Um, and we don't always play nicely in the sandbox, and we're certainly not modeling the best behavior for our next generation. So these are the kind of things that uh, I bantered around with um, Carolyn uh, back in October. And so she was nice enough to accept our offer to come speak with us. So um, can I turn that over to you? Sure. Sure. Okay. Thank, thank you, Mark. And thank you to the committee. I, I have to say that the, you, the way you approach this was very professional and very thoughtful. And I thought even uh, addressing that letter to me and the request to share that with that select board member, and then Mark, you and I meeting, it was a very good uh, meeting. And I was just really uh, grateful that that was how the dialogue went back and forth. Um, it, it happened to be very good timing. And, and I actually want to thank the committee for kind of helping this catalyst. It had been on the agenda to, uh, since uh, the change in the, the board uh, back in May to do a code of conduct. And it's always a good idea to have um, but I think we had had a lot of templates that we had been looking at and nothing was really clicking. And then at the same time that um, Mark and I had met, um, I did some more further research with our insurance carrier. And um, clearly it was apparent that they had come across it with all of their communities. Maya probably insures the majority of towns in Massachusetts. And so they had the template that I did share with you uh, I asked the select board to review it two select board meetings ago. They reviewed it if they needed, wanted to make any changes or if they wanted to agree to it, um, that we would have voted on it, we, that we would vote on it Wednesday night, which they did with no questions um, and no wanting to change anything. So it, it really is, um, I, I think it's, it's as, it covers a lot of the concerns that I think any entity publicly comes up with. Um, it would it breaks into different categories, um, especially um, e even when you're treat treating staff publicly, how you talk about your staff and and address them. So I do think it was it's very thorough and it's been vetted. And so that is what they did adopt. <clears throat> I think moving forward, um, there's always room for more input on it. And I, I know that the, the select board would appreciate any input, but right now this is what they are adopting. And so I will be sending that out to, um, it's it's to all elected and appointed employ, uh, members, volunteers, elected officials, employees, and, and volunteers as well. So we will be putting a signature page on that where they will have to sign off on that, that they've acknowledged it. And that we will that will be kept in there. You know, we will be able to keep that and have that available. That's great. And I do. I did send it to you late. It just got adopted. So feel feel free to if you want to skim it and you have any questions right now. I haven't had a chance to read it. I've been running around. Uh, and for anyone that views this tonight or afterwards, might be. Um, informational or uh, enlightening if you could answer this question uh, if it's in here or not which is the kind of the the issue of the the uh, internet age when we feel that we've taken off our town hat and we go home at night and we're on public media or social media 
does it make reference in any vague or specific way to you are still, you know, as long as, you know, in your term with the town, you are a public face of that town? And there's, there's a reference to social media, that there's okay. a code of conduct on social media. And I, and, I, and I think that is probably one of the hardest things um, to make clear. There's a little bit of vagueness because you can talk to some individuals that might say, well, after, you know, after my work day or at, if I'm not in a meeting that, that you know, we, we can say what we want. But there, it does imply that you are rep representing the town of Hadley regardless of whether it's on a personal page or whatever. So there is a re there is a reference to that, yes. Can you tell me where that is? Yeah, I can't you, find it. Do you know off the top of your head where that? Uh, let me, I'm gonna have to dig it up because I didn't I, bring a hard copy I home. Boy, that's, uh, I would imagine there would be some- It's right here if you found it. Oh, you found it? I would imagine there could be some blowback to that, that people would say, you know, it's my first amendment right when I go to my family barbecue that I can speak my mind. I, well, it's just that's not social media though no right no because it, but, anything that gets out into the internet it can get caught right right mm -hmm. we used to say don't do anything you wouldn't want to read about in the paper the next day mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yep it's sort of the internet yeah. version of that or that your neighbor might not want to read about right what mm -hmm. you said <clears throat> so i'm sorry where did you that's right that's right no it's number two number two okay that's why I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I was looking so for something much more right specific. Yeah. Um, it just says spoken or written, including but not limited. Yeah. To. Okay. Certainly, I what I would what I would say is it had to go to the select board first since it's their policy. If you review it, I, I would I would encourage you if you have some comments to make, I can certainly share that with the select board. Thank you for the invitation. Um, I think that's probably within our vision or goal statement is to aspire to make the town as welcoming and friendly mm -hmm. and civil as, as possible. So yeah, if we find anything um, that we think could potentially offer a improvement on this. We will bring that to you. Good. Thank you for the invitation. Mm -hmm. any, any other questions? Or? So I think this is wonderful. And this is this at retroactive? In other words, oh, we still aren't talking about the issue on the table. This, if it's a policy that was voted on Wednesday night, it's effective Wednesday night. Okay. So it's not effective in May. Right, and 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 I would say that a court of law would say that that's not, you know, you can't make a law after Tommy <laughs> slaps Susie, and yeah. and say you know, and then go back and persecute Tommy. You know. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm okay with that. I, I my question is more specifically is, are are have 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 there been a conversation with that select board member mm. to find out what did she mean or are we dropping it? Um. Yeah. Do you? Um, just Carolyn, curious. do you have a sense that uh, Joyce might um, entertain a conversation with us, either uh, at an open meeting or not? When I spoke with her, she said she was not going to respond. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. I just want—I just yeah. wanted to, you know, put closure on yeah. on it. Yeah. I'm not sure how our other member would feel about that. I think he um, he I, I I think felt extremely offended by it, as I think we all did. But I think that he did want a little more of an answer. But that's that's out of our power, and we do serve at the pleasure. Mm -hmm of the select board so therein lies the rub so this is great so yeah. thank you yeah. for I, I i read about this in the newspaper i thought oh wow that was good timing <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah 
Well, great. Um, if no one else has anything else to comment on, I, I, I thank you again for taking some time for your, I know you have long weeks and nights and yeah, and you're on call 24 seven. So thank you very much for. You're very yeah, welcome. Speaking yeah. to us. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Good night. Um, All right. Yeah. Bye. Good night. Thank Bye. you. Yeah, I look forward to studying that, particularly this section that's got enforcement. Yeah. You know, it just yeah. gives us a roadmap. Yeah, and we should um, we should feel uh, completely free to read through this. And also, I think we had a, 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 maybe another sample. And we could see and see if there's something that we'd like to suggest that Hadley adopt that, you know, you know I don't know, but this, this might be uh, like a bare bones. Mm -hmm. which is a good way to start to get something vague in there and then see if the town has teeth to add more. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. Great. So I don't know if we want to put that on our uh, action items for mm -hmm. the December mm -hmm. meeting that we could all re review that and mm -hmm. maybe uh, look for other samples and see if there's things that we like from other towns. Can I actually read that code of conduct as I am an appointed employee? Mm -hmm. That would be good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So. Oh. Oh. Oh, you. Missed it by that much. <laughs> we just finished the discussion on the code of conduct. I'll catch up. Yeah. So. That's good. Introduce Thank you. Welcome, Wayne. You look good. I hope you feel good. <laughs> um, having some difficulties, but that's okay. Managing. Working them out. Yeah, okay. So, um, <laughs> if, uh, if anyone wants to move, we could jump back to the uh, agenda order. So, back from 3A to item 2. Um, if there's no. Mark, may I make a motion that we take a minute to introduce ourselves? Oh, sure, absolutely. I would second that. Okay. <laughs> All in favor. <laughs> okay. All right. So go ahead. Do you want, uh, uh, I am Mark Dunn. I am the uh, the current chair of the Hadley Committee on Diversity on or for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Um, and I believe we have been in existence for two and a half years maybe i think we started in may or well after the may town meeting of yeah of 20. We were, yeah, 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 yeah yeah so it's right in the early because it was out because we had a town meeting out mm -hmm. on the hopkins uh playing field so we mm -hmm. started i would guess the next month probably june um under the tutelage of um mr stanley who yeah. called us at the town meeting to remind people, yeah. which I don't, I don't know about others, I had not heard yeah. that he was trying to start this committee. And so we all responded to uh, his email address and here we are. Um, yeah. And so I've been on it, I think all of us have been on it for the full mm -hmm. two years. Mm -hmm. So. Seems like more than that. Yeah. No, because it's been a long it's to me of <laughs> pandemic. Yeah. I think of how many appointments we got appointed twice. Right? Yeah. 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 Time. Time. Do you want to introduce yourself? Okay. I, I'm Joanne Gotting, and I'm on the same committee. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> um, I'm Megan Rellin. I my family and I moved to Hadley in mid June of this year from Deerfield, and uh, I met with Pat and expressed interest about this committee. Um, for a number of years in Deerfield, I worked with a, a community, sort of grassroots community organization that worked a lot on diversity, equity, and inclusion, and so wanted to get involved in my new community and learn more about what's going on, and it's really heartening to hear that even during the pandemic, you all came together to start these conversations and this work. So. Glad to be here. My son's out there playing his 
video games and all that. <laughs> Welcome, it's nice to have you. Thank I'm you. Wayne Abercrombie, I live in Hadley and uh, <clears throat> been on the committee since the beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, You were our original chair. chair. Mm -hmm. That's well, right. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of those situations. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> <I understand. laughs> well, we two steps backwards, mm -hmm. and the guy was standing in the chair. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I greatly value the work of this committee, and it's really slow going, but we have a patient <laughs> group of people, and still trying to find how we can make a difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that we're all willing to stay on that path. Mm -hmm. I'm Sarah Strong, and I live in Hadley, and also answered Christian Stanley's call at the lockdown town meeting. And sometimes I feel like the least useful member of the committee, because <laughs> I'm not good with computer stuff, and I'm not good with this, and I'm not good with that. And, but it feels like really important work that needs to happen, and so, I just, you know, and I know that nine-tenths of it is showing up. Mm -hmm. Yep try to keep showing up and I'm also doing the same thing with Hadley Learns which is not an official committee but also a, an exploration of you know how do we get ourselves up to speed with a lot of these issues and uh, again I don't always have time to do the prep work but I just try to show up at least and be thinking about it I like how the two groups complement mm -hmm. each other I'm Pat Rissmeyer, and I agreed, offered to serve as clerk um, when we were at a moment when we were wondering if we were going to continue. And I said, well, I'll be the clerk, and I'll do the administrative work if we can still come together, because yeah. I think it's very important. And um, I feel pretty optimistic now, because I think we have built on our prior success, and we may have turned a corner, and we have some issues identified that, you know, we can really work on, and, um, and I'm really glad, Simon, that you're here, and um, I'm a relative newcomer to Hadley, too. I, I commuted at the Butter House in 2017, but I commuted to Boston, lived in Boston, actually, until pretty much 2019, so, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm happy to be involved in this important work, and mm -hmm. when I feel discouraged, I think, you know, I have a lot of privilege, mm -hmm. and people who don't they're discouraged and tired too, but they don't have a choice, <laughs> you know. So I feel that sort of inspires me to keep going and, and to use my voice, you know, for good. So anyway, I appreciate this group very much, and, and uh, I think we do good work. And I thank Mark for agreeing to be chair. <laughs> yes, thank you, Mark. <laughs> well, I think I would just add to something that, that, that Wayne and, and Pat both mentioned is that we all here for whatever was going on in our lives have found that we had limited bandwidth but when it came time to get reappointed this year what what, what means a lot to me is we all almost like simultaneously said well i was going to step back and when we realized everyone was going to step back we all kind of said all right let's scale back our expectations but we need to keep this mission going mm -hmm. and so we have modest expectations but when something like what happened in may happens we are going to rise to the occasion because that's exactly why we're here mm -hmm. so i might add that well. when we first started we had a series of interviews yeah. with people. We were just mm -hmm. trying to gather data. Mm -hmm. And I I thought that was great. An interview with the chief of police in Hadley. That, mm -hmm. That's what really sticks out. Yeah. Yeah. There's just stuff I didn't know. Yeah. Um, the uh, Annie McKenzie, the superintendent of the schools, mm -hmm. what the schools were doing. We used to have a, a student on the committee in a liaison. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Um, you guys can remind me other interviews if you can point at blaming the guard, the interim HR, oh, along yeah. with the permanent I missed director. Yeah. Yeah. Various, um, and then there was a space of time where I just couldn't make it. it and Zoom at the time, the day which they we first set up to accommodate me, it was five o'clock on a Monday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, right, and I, oh, oh, yeah, because right. you work till five. Yeah, right, because I'm not retired, not even close. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
hoping to in um, a few years. We even tried to reach out to uh, church groups to mm -hmm. see what, yeah. and a couple of them responded, you know, to see, yeah, and we the found the senior center had been mm -hmm. doing, right. studying right fragility, you know, yeah. so it was just like, mm -hmm. What's nice. already happening, and then, yeah, right. and then, you know, when Sarah, when you said you felt like you, <laughs> what you said was very humble. <laughs> She's this is this is the main Hadley Learns liaison. Uh -huh. She told me about it, uh -huh. and right. you know, I and I just think that's significant. So mm -hmm. you know okay. that it, it's not like we have to do some grandiose showing up as, yeah. as big. Mm -hmm. um, and I, in the paper, I think I've read things that Deerfield was doing, doing the active. Deerfield's right. doing a lot. So, so yeah. when, when she sent that, and I read changed. that just tonight, like, oh wow, cool. Yeah. You know, because you know we, and and we we even talked about doing surveys, and we've seen mm -hmm. the data about, you know, how many you know, the economic classes in the town, and mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. racial pro, you know, mm -hmm. mostly white, you know, that was, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. And. Um, so anyway, just yeah. want to toss yeah. that in. Yeah, and how important housing is. Mm -hmm. That's been a big topic of discussion in Hadley Learns also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course yeah. right now with the Econo Lodge conversion, mm -hmm. which I think all of us are pretty excited about. Mm -hmm. We got the presentation last time. Um, yeah, I don't want to take too much time, but Pat, you mentioned that some of those interviews are Videotaped. Where do I find those? Um. Yep. Yeah, yep. So Alex is with Hadley Media. Yeah. Hi Alex. Hello. How are you? Good. Hi Alex. Hello. Yeah. I don't think I met you yet. That's Wayne. You're Wayne. Okay. So, so Alex is new to Hadley Media. Oh, there, awesome. there were two gentlemen that ran a tag team for years, and they both um, left at the same time. Both <laughs> left at the same time. Okay. One left this East Coast, and the other just left town um, and Alex was hired and he's been he's been fabulous so if you go to YouTube you might be able to find them if you oh, can't okay. find them okay. email me I'll dig them out for you okay wonderful thank um, you thank you yeah. 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 Luck at all, the links to those should be on our web page oh, was that towards the end of our first year in the Hadley, oh, okay. yeah. The it's town website. Funny. We have a page in the okay. town website. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. they look good. There's, There's a lot in there. All the chief of police. Okay. Yeah. 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 He's, yeah. He's a rock star. I just, you know, the, all the work that they. Oh God, that was, you know, it's like, oh, changed over from police to kind, wonderful, loving people. Yeah, he was. <laughs> you know, my takeaway was he wasn't just checking the boxes. He yeah. really believed and cared and really wanted to oh, do yeah. the right thing and mm -hmm. be the right, you know. Oh, yeah. He wasn't just like, I, I need to do this to yeah. stay out of trouble, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, and uh, I, I, I was... That's good. I was a little... The only thing that discouraged me about that whole thing was Wayne's cynical comment at the end, which was a statement to how wonderful this guy, he goes, oh, he's not going to be here long. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Is that good? Yeah. 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 I remember yeah. that well, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, hopefully our loss will be Massachusetts game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's actually the president of the he's police president. chief. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So yeah. he is, we're not the only ones to realize that he's not really stuck. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, um, cool. Report? Yeah. Um, should we then also after your report should we adopt the minutes of the last meeting? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that's really my report. Is okay. we sent out the yeah. minutes of um, our last meeting, mm -hmm. and they're lengthy, uh, especially the new business that um, was a great presentation by the Valley mm -hmm. CDC. Um, this is a new copy because I checked with Alexis and she edited my notes a little bit. So this is the, the final proposal. And Megan, we highlight in yellow any items that we believe need further okay. attention. So basically the to-do items between a meeting and the next meeting. Great. Yes, and I apologize for not having done what I should have actually assigned myself officially as homework, which is to actually find the deadline for submitting a committee report. Instead of 
Oh, every this. month going, gee, I wonder when well, you didn't is. offer to do it, Sarah, because I actually reached out. I oh, reached you did. out, Thank but you. I didn't get the answer, but okay. I did reach out. Thank you. <laughs> it just said you urged us, not that you agreed to do it. Right, but there's there's a point at which when you say, people should do this, people yeah. should do this, people should do this. Well, how about if I just did it? <laughs> Instead of expecting somebody else to. I have a Thank question, you. and I maybe when I read to, I said, I think she looked at those slides. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 is it assumed that the sec? Okay, where am I? I'm in. We're a paragraph that's that's right here that starts with the redeveloped property. Mm -hmm. it, it it doesn't mention section eight, and I'm not saying it should or shouldn't, but I I I, I assume because I believe section eight is where people pay 30 pence out of their income. Okay, yeah. I just wondered if they had to have a section eight voucher I don't or, or even if it needs to be in here. I don't, I don't know, I just, know the answer, but I do know that Alexis said if we wanted to um, discuss um, local preference, she would come back next, she would come in December. So I think if we have any questions about this topic, mm -hmm. um, she would come back and clarify. Cool. I'm so impressed with the work they've done. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Keep you impressed. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and I sat in on a Zoom meeting in Amherst. Wayfinders is doing mm. something in Amherst. Mm. Like where one of the schools, you know, nouns, sorry, um, Go down the hill past Amherst College to that traffic light where the school, mm -hmm. one of the elementary schools was the one that they're not going to Farm? Is that yeah. Farm? Fort River? No, no, it's Fort River. I don't remember which one's where. It's where the school was. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's that, Many it's that years neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And that, that building has been proposed for reuse a lot oh, of times. Oh, okay. Right. So the, the proposal for Amherst to consider is a, you know, a multi unit. Mm -hmm building or two buildings, I, I can't remember exactly, that Wayfinders is spearheading. Mm -hmm. And it sounds wonderful. I mean, it looks like a wonderful proposal and hopefully that will go forward. So I yeah. sat in on a couple of these, like, yeah. And of course that one has a much further timeline. Mm -hmm. This one, like she said, could be could ready be like that, mm -hmm. comparatively speaking, mm -hmm. which would be great. I will, um, I will send you all uh, after the meeting, I shared with the planning board an article in this month's newsletter I get of the Western Mass AIA, and there was a nice, um, like, four, five-page article about the elderly affordable housing project that was done in Sunderland, mm -hmm. and how complicated it was, and how many different organizations they had to bring together to, to make it work. And at the center of it all, Laura Baker, Valley CDC. Mm -hmm. So I think that might interest you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I'm okay with these minutes. What's, what, how, what's the special words? I move that we adopt yeah. the minutes, is that Yes. <laughs> all, right. all in favor? All, right. all opposed? It's unanimously adopted. Thank you, Pat. Thank you very much, Pat. This is wonderful. Um, and that, if we want to continue on that, on a similar topic, item 3B would be the discussion of local preference, affordable housing project Hadley, which we just were kind of talking about right. from the minutes. Uh, does anyone else want to discuss that anymore? Or? I will share that there was a recent um, discovery observation shared by um, Bill Dwyer, and I'll just mention Bill Dwyer. Mm -hmm. I, serve, I serve on the planning board. Uh, Bill Dwyer is the secretary of the planning board. Um, I'm the newest member. Three of them have been there for like 30 years apiece. Forever, mm -hmm. um, and uh, um, something that Bill just shared with us uh, Tuesday night was that um, 
they found a, oh, I think the town council found a state judicial, a Supreme Judicial Court ruling, I've forgotten how far back it goes, but it was after 2000, maybe 2002, 2006, that says if you, um, Build if you, if if you do a an affordable housing complex um, in town. There's a there's a 40B. There's a 40A 40B. Um, there's what's called a friendly 40B and a hostile 40B. The state basically legislates that if your town has less than 10 percent of its housing stock is affordable, then you are vulnerable to a hostile 40B in that a developer can come in and build without your approval wherever they want. Um, a friendly 40B is when a developer comes in and wants to work with you. You know, I want to work with the town and we are currently, I think, somewhere around 13 percent. So we're not vulnerable, um, but we've been talking on the planning board over the last, because uh, the planning board is also the default members of our our new affordable housing trust in town. Mm. Um, we have been talking about the fact that a number of these units in town are slated to sunset, uh, and when then could revert to or are expected to, to revert to market rate. Mm. And the town council found a, a state judicial. State, uh, Supreme Judicial Court ruling that said if you build this in a district that does not permit apartments, uh, multiple family dwellings, um, then you cannot convert it to market rate. So basically, which I find interesting that what if, you know, I asked at the last meeting, I said, what if it's a friendly 40B? What if they worked with the town and, and, and the town agreed to put it somewhere that it's not zoned for and agreed that it would be a, let's say, a 30 year affordable or 50 years affordable? And then now the court says, well, if the underlying zoning doesn't permit it, you have to stay affordable. You know, that, is that fair to the developer? If at the outset they were told you'd be able to go to market, yeah. mm. I, I mean, for affordability, I'm like, yay. But I'm like, is that really fair if I were the developer? But anyway, so from what we heard, this is just the initial conversation. Um, if the building, like we have, you know, I, I'd have to go ch check the zoning of those areas, but like, uh, what do we have? Green leaves, we mm -hmm. have, uh, is it Vest, uh, something like that? Vest in there, yeah. Um, and there's another one, I think, on the other side of the, of Route 9. If that land is not zoned for apartments, then they would be stuck with staying affordable in perpetuity. Whether it's fair to them or not, if that's what the court rules, that might, um, what I was thinking is that might erode appetite for the town to add more because now we've got that 13% in perpetuity. So it's good, but does it mean, you know, it might mean that it would be an uphill battle to add more because before he discovered this, um, over the last year or two, we've been talking about the fact that we're going to lose some, so we're going to have to add more, so, so we're not vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And I think there was some momentum. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if this will take that momentum away. Just a mm -hmm. food for thought. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mark, a point of information. So who's responsible in the town to monitor all this? The, well, the planning board? I think it is. I, well, I can't answer that, but I, I think I mean, it is. It sounds very complicated yeah. to me and very important to understand. Yeah, yeah. And I guess my question is, who's in charge of managing this and question? I would, I would have to ask Bill, uh, Bill if that is a charge of ours or if it's just something that we do because we care. Um, I, I don't know that it's, you know, but it would make sense that the planning board would be, um, you know, responsible. 
for that. I've had conversations. Or Carolyn, I don't know. I'm sorry. Go ahead. With uh, Joe on the planning board. And he has those st stats about the 10% and how yeah. all the towns around us have less and we have more. And so we've met that. And, and, and my feeling is we have more than them, right? But nobody has enough. Right. right? Yeah. Not yeah. Yeah. Nobody has enough. Yeah. But, yeah. I, you know, this, this isn't right. like a, yeah, a Joe, competition here. Yeah, yeah. Joe, but I understood. He seemed to be on the numbers. No, yeah. Joe, Joe has a, a bit of a soapbox that he's like, you know, you know, he, I, you know, I don't want to paraphrase or put words in his mouth, but I, I think he gets a little hot under the collar when we get concerned about getting down to 10%. He goes, who's holding these other communities' feet to the fire? Well, you, know, you don't penalize them. What, it's their risk that the developer could come in, but if there's not a viable that they think they could rent those units, they're, they're probably safe to not produce. Whereas we have the Route 9 corridor, mm -hmm. which it has been um, our planning board over the last de decades. They have set up the philosophy that Hadley will, you know, the two main things that, that they wanted to do was to conserve the agricultural land and focus and encourage commercial along the Route 9 corridor. And uh, if I think it was in either today's or yesterday's paper um, that Bill's wife, um, yep. Linda, is yep. the town secretary and treasurer. It, it, yeah, treasurer, treasurer. I'm sorry, yep. town treasurer, and she brought some spreadsheets to light that show our Hadley's revenues from it was three lines. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was meals and tax, you know, meals, uh, lodging. Mm -hmm and uh, cannabis. recreational right. can cannabis. Mm -hmm. And it compared mm -hmm. us against adjacent, the budding communities. And it was amazing that Little Hadley really kept up with Amherst and Northampton in those. And, and you could see that we have, it was almost $1.5 million a year mm -hmm. that we're getting from those. Um, so that Route 9 development has definitely, and I don't think anyone in town would, would argue, has allowed us to keep our property taxes lower than all the other communities because we have focused that Route 9, which mm -hmm. this year is rather painful. I made the mistake of taking Route 9 from point A to point B today, <laughs> and, there, and there are two there were two wow. one lane, and I mean one lane for both ways, yeah. bottlenecks, mm -hmm. and I sat for five minutes watching everybody go east. I'm like, yep, they're trying to get the business into Adley. Let us out. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, so, sorry, I digress. <laughs> yeah. But that commercial development on Route 9 is also what makes that Econo Lodge a perfect candidate to become affordable housing. Yeah, I mean, we have, Perfect. and that could, that could arguably cut down on traffic if if right. if a lot of the mall employees mall are coming from, right there from the 91 there. corridor, yeah. if they live right there, you know, and the green sustainability of yeah. taking right all those street. car miles yeah. and pollution off that, you know, yeah. they could walk to work or ride their bike to work or, mm -hmm. yeah. It's and with the and with what the what the state is doing now, they're gonna they're really gonna make that more bike friendly yep. and mm -hmm. pe pedestrian friendly. Yep. And, and there'll there'll just be that link left from like Trader Joe's mm -hmm. down to the town line. Yeah. yeah. And and that's and that's an important link. I don't know when that's gonna get done, but that's. Yeah. that's I mean, I'm sure you've seen people with their grocery bags walking. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway. It's curious to people walking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are we in 3B? Is that right? That's where we are, yes. Did you want to go on to 3C? That was a test. All right. Um, if we're, any, any other discussions on 3B? Oh, yeah. So the local preference thing. I remember she pointed out last month that mm. in communities like I think this is 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Going to the full 70% local preference reinforces the racial discrimination right. that right. exists in right. the town. Okay. And yeah. so if, if we could, I would love for us to draft a letter to, to the, the select, select board, board yeah. or whatever to say, right. could we please either not have local preference or ask for right. only the minimum amount. Right. Hmm. If, you know, if, they, if, they, if there's somebody on select board who won't say right. no, no local preference at all, then and then Please just go for thirty percent. Yeah, that you know that may come down to a party line uh, battle, but but I is do think we should express to have um, we should our observations support. on yeah. that. What is uh, the minimum? Did you say you knew it? I didn't see it in here. Um, I don't know if there's a minimum. There was thirty percent. Yeah, I remember from from last month, Alexis was saying that when there's a, t a development like this. The town can ask for up to 70% local preference in that housing lottery of the applicants that they'll receive from wherever, mm -hmm. the eligible applicants. The town can request that up to 70% of those be local preference, which means they either already live in town or they have kids in the school system or they work in they work town. In town. Right. And I mean, that's, it's, a, it's a nice thought that somebody who already works at the mall should be able to live within walking distance of their job. So it's a very tempting kind of thing to say, yeah, we want local preference. But the downside of it is that in a town like Hadley, which is mostly white, it tends to reinforce that racial divide. Whereas the applicants they'll get, will because of the income qualification, and people of color generally having lower incomes, the applicants are going to be predominantly people of color. It's the last paragraph on the, on Is it in there? the first page yeah. of the notes. And so if we want to encourage diversity, equity, and inclusion, like it says in our name, we want to suggest to the select board that we not ask for local preference. Right. Or it's that in... we go for the minimum amount, like 30%. Yeah. Is this up before the select board? It, they'll have a say. They're the ones I think Alexis said that would that would indicate so. if we ask so. for if right. we kind of so you know if that is on their agenda to discuss. I don't know when that is. Let it me, will be at some point. Let me ask Carolyn so when would, that's. I should we draft a yeah. sentence tonight to? In case we don't have more time to get it, we should certainly draft. It. You know, a sentence or two or three. Mm -hmm. And yeah. succinct. Mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah. And just address this issue. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. We don't know what the minimum is, though. I don't know I if there is. say it. zero, but I think yeah. she said. I don't know. I don't know the if there is one is 70. Now. I, I just want to put on the now. table that I have met so many employees in this town that are people of color that don't live here. Right. Mm, well, right. that's my point. Right. They yeah. work here. Yeah. yeah. And local yeah. preference would allow them. Yes. Well, so I might. I personally yeah. don't want it to be zero. Right. I yeah. I want would like right. to see that some of these folks. Granted, I realize there's other yeah. people. You know, like yeah. half of the teachers in the Hopkins Academy don't live here. Yeah. But but to say zero. No. Mm -hmm. But I mean, to say seventy. Well, if you say zero, they can rent to anyone who's interested. I believe, they're, they're, right? They, they take all it's the a lottery, thousand applicants. Which is going to be lottery. hundreds of people. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So can right. we come up with a sentence or two yeah. that addresses that? You know, I would like to learn more, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I, just I, don't, mean, I don't know enough about, <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to about remember. this issue, and I don't know if there are like towns. And I mean, I, I get the general concept, of course. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, like Joanne said, I, I don't... I mean, I, I, the whole idea of preference, right? That's the big, the big picture is preference yeah. and, and affordability. And, um, and lo local means, as, as you spelled right. out, either you live here, you work here, or your you're, you're, kids, your are, kids are students here. Yeah. You know, right. school choice and you meet the income and you meet the and you're, income. And you're and you a low income right, right. right. so right. it's all so I, I guess yeah. I don't know what the answer is I'm not yeah I, I just would like to know more right. I'm, that's where I'm at right. you know I don't yeah. know if other people have experience with this and, and Alexis did say she would come to our December meeting that would be great okay. if we wanted to talk about it okay. more specifically 
I think that would be good to yeah. have her focus on that. Just on this, yeah. yeah. And she could zoom if she wanted. If, yeah, she could come, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I just remember when I was trying to grasp what she was saying. Mm -hmm. I think I basically said back to her, I said, so if I get it, it's kind of counterintuitive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about shopping or groceries or whatever, you know, you, you want to shop local. But in this case, if you say local preference, mm -hmm. you're, if you exclude other, then, right, you're, you're not allowing, mm -hmm. or you're discouraging what we're trying to push, which is more diversity. Right. Because we're already very low on the spectrum of, you know, we, we have just marginal numbers of, of people of color, you know, Hispanics, whatever. I'd like to maybe we ask her to come to our next meeting and address this issue and perhaps in the process give us her idea about what, it, what would be ideal mm -hmm. and help us word something yeah. that we can get behind. Yeah. And she and so we understand yeah. Yeah. What we're asking. Maybe she would know about other communities that have drafted something. That's what I was going to say. I was mm -hmm. wondering no. if she could say, yeah. she could give us examples of what other communities yeah. have set theirs at and, and how that is. And, and what, what they, more importantly, what, how they wrote that up to, to give to their select board. Oh. That's mm -hmm. what I'm, you know. Right. 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 How can we the invitation? Yes. The invitation to Alexis? Mm-hmm. We'd love you to come to specifically talk to us about, yeah. um, about local preference. About local preference. Maybe connect. that's enough. Yeah. 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 But if yeah. you wanted to put in those specific issues, list a few concerns. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And see, she's stating here recent studies show mm -hmm. that local preference in predominantly white communities like Hadley. Mm -hmm. And I'd love to see that again. Like, which towns are we talking about? Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to word the invitation to her? Because you, you, you said some very specific concerns. And yeah, right. It's just that I have very little to do any work outside of when I'm not here. <laughs> yeah. um, well, she could but a wording now that we could copy down. I'm just concerned that we you. sort of ramble yeah. on about it. Yep. But yeah, yeah. Ask her to come and then hit her with this stuff. Right. I think we should be specific you, you, about where we're going to ask. If you're not well, I'm just quoting. All I did was quote here. She, sh mm -hmm. could she bring again, discuss mm -hmm. with us about these studies? Mm -hmm. I, like I said, my concern. I can address it. it, it yeah, okay. it, 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 I think that's true. This is a predominantly white community, mm -hmm. and that's true. And particularly, the idea of people who work here already. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of white folks that work here. Mm -hmm. But I've also noticed the bank teller and the person at home, you know, I've noticed there be, where do you live? Oh, I live in Springfield. Mm -hmm. That's where they live, not even yeah. have at Amherst or Northampton. Right. Right. They're commuting from Holyoke. And, right. Mm -hmm. You know, but, yeah. but even if there's no local preference, it's still a lottery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking if there is some local preference, some of those people might get in. Yeah. Yeah, and that was but, why I was suggesting I'd like, maybe a low percentage of local preference rather than the full 70% mm -hmm. that you're allowed to ask. Yeah, I'd just like to hear her talk yeah, more yeah, about what other communities see. have done. Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity for us to become more educated about this, mm -hmm. but also to serve in an educational role to the select mm -hmm. board. Because mm -hmm. so people yes. wouldn't know this exactly. unless they get this right. information. Right. Exactly. She it sounds mention. good. When yeah, you first read it, we right. all went, oh, I don't know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, exactly. Uh, that, write that down. Educational role. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we don't know if, if we have stated mm -hmm. a percentage. In I don't believe we have. I don't know that it's gotten that far. Mm -hmm. I don't think they mm -hmm. have their agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, they do have to seek a letter from the, they need a letter of support, I believe, if I remember correctly, from the select board to take to the state to get some of the state grants or funding or that Could they, you ask our select board member who's our advisor are they about this and mm -hmm. what sure. he would suggest? Yeah. Um, I'm taking, situation I'm taking now. quick notes, so please anyone add. I have marked a draft invite to Laura or Alexis. Do you? 
care which one it is? Do both, maybe even. Okay. Let them decide. Okay. Um, to attend our December meeting to address local preference, mm -hmm. and and specifically examples of other communities, uh, what they have set their numbers at, and mm -hmm. how to present an, an educational argument to the select board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we ask if there is, if this is under discussion now? And yeah. 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 What they know about the state of things now. I'll ask Randy. And ask them too. I mean, they yeah. Do. yeah. Right. Right. Do they have plans to, et cetera, to address this? Maybe in general, what is the process? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it, I wonder why wouldn't this go to town meeting? Why would this be a decision by the select board? Mm. Right. That's possible. Find that out. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just thought of something else that I forgot to mention, and it relates to this, but it also relates to our old business A. After our last meeting, I thought about affordable housing. And again, if we just think about how, let's say there's no preference, and there's more diversity. I thought about that that sentiment that uh, affordable housing brings crime. Mm -hmm. And I decided to Google that. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a master at Google and finding all of that perfect, beautiful, most factual things at the top, okay? But um, it, what, I, what I did see didn't seem to indicate that that was factual. So I'm kind of wanting to sort of, in a sideways way, address, I can imagine some people wanting it to be more local because then there can be more white folks, it's safer and there's less crime. Mm -hmm. Are you all with me? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm wondering if this group already knows that that sentiment may exist amongst people and already has some research to show how that isn't the case. Mm -hmm. all right. You because mm -hmm. if we can educate, but we all know that people will make decisions by their emotions, right? And fear is a big motivator to say no to stuff. Mm. So if we if we can come up with the information about how dive, making our community more diverse, mm -hmm. not only racially, economically, mm -hmm. that this is a good thing. I'm not saying that someone who's convinced that it's a bad thing or it's going to change their right. mind, but there's a. I just yeah. think there's room to wake people up who might decide to come to a town meeting if there's a vote on that. Who might say, "Ah, my vote doesn't matter." Mm -hmm. um, so that's my. I'm wondering if if they know. I could probably word that because I had it worded yeah, in my head sure. after I went home and said. Yeah. There's a lot about this. And my guess is that they understand more about this than any of us in the room. Exactly. And that that would come into whatever presentation they make. Yeah. And certainly we could ask them. But yeah. My guess is they know. Yeah, right. And just, so we would want to hear about that. I just scribbled another note for that invitation saying, asking if they have any resources with statistics and facts on how affordable housing and increased diversity does not correlate with increased crime. That's right. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's asking a lot of them. I mean, we're getting into a whole... All you, well, they might direct us to another resource. No is one word. Right. Yeah. Uh, we don't know. Yep. Mm -hmm. But they might live and breathe that and say, oh, mm -hmm. I'm so glad you asked. Go try this. I, but I, if I, they say no, that's fine. And I mentioned this... It's worth not, asking. Yeah, not just because of this other article. I had a conversation with another person on a committee several years back who had the sentiment that we will have to bulk up our police force. Mm -hmm. I bet they could throw yeah. us towards resources because I bet they, mm -hmm. I'll bet most towns, mm -hmm. there's that NIMBY, mm -hmm. you know, that so they have to... These days in any community, you're going to find a population yeah. which will be saying those things. That's any right. Community. That's right. 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 So, it's just how it so is. I'm sure they are used to as facing a country, as yeah. every community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It still amazes me that people win elections <laughs> by 52 to 48. <laughs> no matter what side you're on, there's a sizable. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be those in this community. That's right. right. 
And there are those in Amherst. Yeah, and there that, are those in every right. town. And, and you need so, to be ready. And I would venture yeah. to guess yeah. that of that 48 and 52, there's probably 35 to 40 percent on each side that are solid, and the other ones are swung by misinformation. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if we can provide mm -hmm. factual yeah. information. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And then there's the whole big number that doesn't even come out and vote. Right. Right. And that's you huge in this town. To <laughs> Look at the numbers. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, there's a lot here. Also, I'm, so I'm a clinical social worker and I'm in private practice, but also um, this sentence popped out at me that Valley CDC will partner with clinical and support professionals to offer optional comprehensive supportive services. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's also helpful to remind people that yes. if there are unhoused folks that do get in through this lottery, that there's going to be a variety of services that people can access, whether it's mental health support, job training, mm -hmm. yes. case management, and so I think that's great. And those, it's a lot of those things that are the are the, the grassroots of where crime, you know, when you're struggling with other right. things. And so they're trying to be very proactive oh, and great. give people every fighting chance to succeed. Right. Yep. Is this something that we should have a special meeting for and not just as a part of yes. our agenda? Yes. This is a huge issue. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. And I yeah. Don't, I don't see us being able to accomplish much else in a meeting mm -hmm. where this, mm -hmm. and just we're going issue, 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 and now we have about five or six different things we're going to ask them to comment, and they're very complicated. Yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering if it's not a special meeting that we're looking to have on this issue. I agree with that. Well, we could start with our December meeting and devote the meeting to it, right? Uh -huh. Sure. Can the select, would you want the select board liaison to attend part of that, or what? We could even make our monthly meetings this is just an idea. We could say, all right, let's say we're we're setting aside 60, 90 minutes a month for this meeting. We could say, what if our model is 15 minutes of business and uh, 75 minutes of a specific topic, whether it's an interview, it's an issue like that. And if we don't have an issue, then we can go on to whatever new business. What do you say goes into the 15 minutes? Yeah. Improving well, the minutes. Minutes. We uh, followed up on. We'll, we can do that in three minutes. I can do yeah. that in three minutes. But she sends them out, you know, and they're, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we so can even hit reply and say, this is the only edit I see. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just suggest it, that our December yeah, right. meeting be devoted just to this it. if they yeah. will come. Mm -hmm. right. If this date doesn't work for them, then yeah. we adjust right. our yeah. date and yeah. we devote that meeting to this issue. Right. I'm glad you came. So at, at the planning board, so our... That's, that's a motion. Yeah. Second. Second? I go for it. All in favor? Yes. The mo what is the motion waiting exactly? Uh, <laughs> we we're moving fast. the December okay. meeting to the... the uh, local preference. Mm -hmm. The local preference. Affordable mm -hmm. housing discussion. Mm -hmm. And yeah. those points that we just asked okay. her to address. And she already said she would come. Great. Okay. Okay. And is the December meeting already decided? Yeah. It's usually the third Thursday. It's the fifteenth of December, the third Thursday of. Oh yeah, first, eighth, fifteenth. So okay. Okay. There are four. Is that a, five. Is that a conflict for anyone? Usable for you? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be out of town, but I can. You can zoom if you want. No. I'll probably be in the car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Drive, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm glad that that's happening. Could we make it the second meeting? I mean. Uh, on the 8th? I think so come on the 8th. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's going to rock any, anybody to else's boat. Change your schedule because of my... Uh, it was fairly yeah. arbitrary. We'll have to ask Alexis if she can come because she yeah, said she could come on the 8th. Right. right. But that, right. that is okay with me. I think I'd, I'd like to suggest that we at least ask. I think yeah. we should okay. all be here. Yeah. 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 Great. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. And would you be available? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll make something happen. And we should make sure there isn't a conflict with some other town committee. There is board of health that night, I believe. Um, actually, I could be wrong because I did. No, no, I think there's board of health that week. They used to meet in the warm weather. They used to be meeting outside, but we were meeting inside. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it'll be too cold for that, although with the 
climate change, it's hard to say. Do I detect a skier? Yes. <laughs> no, I was saying because, because, you know, we shouldn't be that warm in December. It's a, it's a sign of our climate change. Yeah. Well, it's cold right now. Yeah. They populate the calendar, but I don't. I don't see anything on it yet. The December calendar looks blank. So, what's the question I'll ask too? When does the next month meeting schedule get populated? I believe that they start towards the end of the week. They just put stuff on for next week. That could be wrong though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, I just sent an email. Yeah. Oh, so I was going to say that on the planning board, our meetings start at 6.30. And when we have a public hearing, we have an issue. We usually say that will start at 6.45. So we leave 15 minutes for, um, yeah. in our case, it's not business. In our case, planning board, um, local residents can come in and say, I, you know, I, I want to ask the planning board about this shed or whatever. You know, Unscheduled, it, you know, we make that first 15 minutes. You know, but in our case, we could do business and then schedule that remainder of our. So that way, they don't have to sit through our minutiae. Mm -hmm. you know, they could finish dinner and get the kids, yeah. you know, in in the bathtub before they. You know. right. <laughs> oh, that sounded sexist because we're inviting two women. I'm sorry. Go back to my diversity training. Um, so we're set on that issue, which moves us to new business. Do you want me to just add, ask Laurel, to, Laura, to to both? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That would be send great. Send a quick email. Thank you. Okay. Um, oh, I think I'm up to. Um, Share that the senior center, and I, I'm sorry I'm wearing my mask, I'm going to see my 91 year old father for Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. So I am like yep. yeah. isolating yeah. myself yeah. as yeah. much as I can. No. Yeah. No. It's Don't all around. Just, There's stuff all around. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it's, it feels a little awkward to be talking yeah. through this mask, so yeah. I appreciate it. Um, so the senior center, um, as you know, we, we had a successful program with the senior center honoring Indigenous People Day. and following that program, um, dur during, after the movie, people said, oh, we'd love to see another educational film. So Violet took the initiative to research potential films oh, to you. honor Dr. Martin Luther King, and she landed on this Summer of Soul. It's great. <laughs> when the re revolution could not yeah. be televised. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's about two hours, Yep. and I had known nothing about it. I did watch it. And I think it's perfect. Oh, it's yeah. in the same theme as Gather and then High on the Hog, which are informative um, films that honor the particular individual group we're honoring, and, but real and really interesting. So this is all about this um, six-day uh, cultural festival um, in New York, the Harlem Cultural Festival, and all the I'm dating myself, but all the um, many of the groups that I grew up listening to, Stevie Wonder, Nina Simone, Sly and the Family Stone, are featured. This is footage, yes. original footage of this um, festival, and I just think it's great. It is great. It's, it's it, astounding. I, I Did you saw it when it came to the Emerson? Yeah. 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 So I, I'm great. just looking to see if I can go back to Violet and say we would love to partner oh, yeah. with this. She oh, yeah. will do all the arrangement of the film, yeah. um, and we contributed refreshments last time, and, and I'd like to agree that we will do that this time. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's wonderful to, to have this nice partnership developing mm -hmm. with the Senior Center, mm -hmm. and, to, and to really offering 
to the pretty much the senior community this opportunity to engage in DEI yeah. um, education and conversation. Yeah. Right. If anybody now it's a long movie, so it's two hours. But if anybody knew anybody in the music world who would be willing to attend and even have a conversation about this particular era of music. It would be a nice addition, I think. In addition to seeing it? Yeah, maybe just someone who could... It'd be a long... I know, it's too long, long, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> all right, we'll watch the movie and have a Yeah, I think the people that will know some know these groups, you know, because... Yeah, that's true. The Senior Center is open to, what, anyone over 55? Well, that's us baby boomers here, and now. <laughs> maybe we could get Jim Olson to come from uh, yeah. RSI or something like that. I think it doesn't have an art, it's not an art, it's not a story that's no. told. No, it isn't. It is no. a documentary about yes. the festival. That's exactly yeah, that's You don't true. have to see the whole thing mm. in order to get, yeah. uh, to get it, but you yeah. get the feeling yeah. from it, of yeah. this joy that they that's had right. in being yeah. celebrated. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And it just vanished from the world. It happened, mm. it was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And it just and nobody knew about nobody it. Nobody wrote about it. I mean, and did, the you, footage did we ever know that this happened? Right? The no. footage was in somebody's basement, huh. oh, right? Wow. That's right. Oh, it's the footage very was in somebody's yeah. basement. The footage right, was right, 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 right. right. Yeah. And somebody pulled it out and <coughs> then, lost. I mean, um, yeah. imagine that. It's, it's okay. a very powerful. Now, did you know right. about it, Wayne, before? No. No, you didn't. Me neither. Okay. And I told a friend who was living at the Newark at the New York at the time, and she said. I think my dad brought me to that. That must be what we went to. Cause she was just oh, same age as me, uh, and a, a woman of color. And that's she, you know, cool. she's like, I think that's what I'm my dad brought me to. Oh, so <laughs> joyful. Yeah, oh, good. That's All right, a great, great choice. choice. Oh, and and how lovely that Violet, you know, took the initiative yeah, and, yeah. and it really feels like a great yeah. choice. Yeah. Is yeah. that what his director? Um, she is the director of programs director for, program. for the okay. senior for health on aging. Okay. Oh, What's the date of this? This will be on. Is it on the agenda? It, it February. On, 10th. Oh, here. The the tenth of February. 10th. Also at twelve thirty, which is a Friday because they do this Friday matinee. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is anybody familiar with the name Gil Scott Hand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He has a song. The revolution mm -hmm. shall not be rev or will not be <laughs> televised. televised. Yeah, right. And it, it, I mean, it kind of predates rap, you know. And uh, um, I guess that summer of soul is 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 called or what did yes. it say? Yes. It yes. The movie right. summer of soul or when the revolution mm -hmm. could not be televised. Right there. Yeah. 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 It just made me think of. I was like, yeah. I've heard that song. Who is it? And it was Gil Scott. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I digress. Okay. Anything else on that, Pat? No. Yes, that's good. Thank well, you so much. Yeah, that's great. I'm so happy that I came That is terrific. Um, I'll, I'll bring brownies. Okay. Uh, is there a way that we can make, that we can help with publicity? I was, I was, yeah, that's a great idea. I was disappointed that there were so few people there. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, it's, it's very powerful. I think they have a maximum of 20. That's what I thought. Oh, so there's a maximum. really? Yeah. Yeah. I think for reasons of, of health, yeah, yeah. they don't want to crowd too many people okay. in. And which room is it? It's is in it? The, the dining area. It is, okay. I thought so. Yeah. So we had 12, but mm -hmm. there was room for more. I agree. Mm -hmm. I think if we want to, if this committee wanted to uh, sponsor a showing of something that, like we did before, mm -hmm. I think we could find a larger space to do it in. But these things are, these things are speaking to our culture in a way that mm -hmm. you don't see. I mean, I don't watch television at all anyway. But, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm assuming that on the usual television shows you don't see this. And in this age, it it might be good to bring those things to attention. And there's some wonderful ones out there. I would, I would even suggest showing the one that you did in a larger space and really making a thing of it. I think I was very moved by that. It was about the, you know, yeah, 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 that was good. I, I was just really moved by it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, is this gathered? Yeah, so powerful. Yeah.
Yeah, I wasn't there for that day, but I, so I watched it at home. Watched it at home. Yeah, it was, yeah. wow. Mm -hmm. It was strong. Mm -hmm. It just goes so deep to, to one of the huge issues of this day, and and in, and in a wonderful way. Mm -hmm. It wasn't preaching to anybody. Mm -hmm. It wasn't wagging a finger in front of anybody's face. It was just showing. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember, was that where I learned? Was it in that movie? Or somewhere else I learned about how the American cavalry or military back then to defeat the Native Americans mm -hmm. slaughtered yeah. like a hundred thousand or, or was millions it millions of, of buffalo? Mm -hmm. So basically, if you and it said if you want to defeat people, remove their food source, mm -hmm. and their 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 community, mm -hmm. their culture was based around this harmony, right. uh, you know. With and, mm -hmm. yeah. anyway, and, and yeah. the same with salmon, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I love your idea, Wayne. I think we need to build on it because of our, our bandwidth. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so if we land on on holidays or yeah. topics we want to celebrate, I think we can mm -hmm. we can choose ways mm -hmm. to educate. I'd love us to work with the school community too. Yeah. Yeah. Collaborate. In, yeah, yes. so if once we land on mm -hmm. some of our issues, I think we can expand our offerings. I think we might have to expand our membership or our, our assistance because I'm a little tapped out at you know doing one um, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I could do multiple ones yeah, yeah. I, I think we all have to be involved and it has to be a committee project mm -hmm. which the rest of us take part in mm -hmm. so I, I can see us showing in the Hadley in the high school mm -hmm. auditorium mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. in which case see my thought when you just said about bandwidth is like this is not something we have to do alone. Mm -hmm. This would be collaborating. What are other groups doing? Yes. And if it's in the school, of course, you're going to you know, be connection in the school. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, maybe some of the faith communities or... Hadley Learns know, would probably... Hadley Learns. If we come yeah. up with a specific movie or program to show um, in a date, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I would be happy to share a committee to put that together. Mm -hmm. I said I would be happy to do it. I don't think I'd be happy to do it. <laughs> but but I, I would work at it. Mm -hmm. uh, There's also the, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. There's the Center on the Human Rights Commission and then the Deerfield Inclusion Group that I was a part of and their sponsor their sponsoring an event this weekend, but I sent you that information um, on, there's a like Native American education and a river walk down there in Sunderland along the river. Um, so that's also a possibility of sort of networking mm -hmm. with other groups yeah, exactly. that are doing DEI work and coming exactly. together in that way. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's great. Yeah, this is Indigenous Voices River Walk and Talk series. There you go. Really nice. Mm -hmm. When is that taking place? This weekend, I believe. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it seems like there's other people with, that share our passion that we yes. could leverage a mm -hmm. uh, c collaboration. Mm -hmm. I do have to say, I will not be able to do this in January. Maybe the beginning of February. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm having surgery at the beginning of January, and I don't know how. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What the recovery is going to be like. Yeah. It's kind of, uh, for an old yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think this dovetails. Of, I think we're in the open. Mm -hmm. with, yes. Yep. You know, the, the two things I just wanted to say was, if, if, if does anyone know anything? more anything happening closer to Martin Luther King Day, if anyone knows anything that we can support or that I can go to. And you don't have to answer right now, you can like email. <laughs> but um, I noticed like, oh, that's great. And then I thought, oh, it's February 10th, which is okay, but mm -hmm. it's not near Martin Luther mm -hmm. King Day. Mm -hmm. So that was one. And the other was, whether it's here or I call you, I'm really interested in just an idea of what the committee that you were on mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. Really interested so in that. Many things. So, you know, I just wanted to put yeah. that on the table. Yeah. 
and that you know like i said i could call you but i think everyone would be interested mm -hmm. so why yeah. should i hog it all yeah i'd be happy to talk you to know because that. that gets into I, I do remember I saw something in the paper, I think it was about your committee doing mm -hmm. something along with this other committee. Mm -hmm. And I thought, mm -hmm. there's more committees. Like, mm -hmm. what if they knew about us? Maybe we yeah. could have, you know. Yeah. So Absolutely. the fact that, yeah, some little crossbreeding here would be great. Mm -hmm. That woke up in me thinking we've been laboring, sort of just a few of us here, and mm -hmm. I, for one, have felt sort of alone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that we're alone. and. When you mentioned those other committees and what they were doing, to make it's a natural. We should just yeah. Yeah. at yeah. least talk to them, ask yeah. what they have done, yeah. and yeah. get ideas from them, mm -hmm. and perhaps collaborate on things mm -hmm. in, the, in the larger. We're not that big. It's, it's, the area is not right. that big. Right. Right. Exactly. It's not a big deal to go to Sunderland. Right. 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 So, no. right. So, yeah. so yeah. I, I, yeah. Like this, I like this very so much. So put that on somewhere. Mm -hmm. That might not be I'd be out. happy to talk about the work in Deerfield. And I know someone who's lovely who's on the Sunderland Human Rights Commission. And they have, there's just a lot going on. So, yeah, um, yeah there's a anti-racism standout group in Hatfield mm -hmm. that does some work. Right. So there's... Yeah, there's a lot of little, not little, but some yeah. are bigger than others, yeah. but to try to connect the sort of anti-racism equity communities. That'd be a nice project for yeah. for us yeah. to, to find out, to just to find out yeah. what the groups yeah. are in yeah. Western Mass yeah. that are doing the same yeah. kinds of things. Yeah, this is kind yeah. of like the next level of your... Yeah, ours, we were trying to find like what in Hadley was going on. Right, and, yeah. And, and then we found Hadley Learns and the Senior Center, and like yeah, nothing and else. The church. Well, I can get a resource for that. I wonder if I should be on an email. Do you have? Y'all have an email list for the group? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I could be on that, and then I can send that to mm -hmm. folks. Yeah. yeah, I don't know that we have a yeah. list, sir, but we oh, have no, an email she, address. She that, just sends. Does that forward to each of us? Did you send it to? I just end up doing. Yeah, it. You, yeah, we yeah. Don't it's don't just our personal. We're kind of old school. Are you going to be on our committee? Well, I would love to. I was not going to press her, but I was going to say <laughs> casually off camera at the end, you, we would love to have you come again next month. And if you feel that you want to, um, there's a process to you write yeah. a letter to the yeah. selectman saying, I would like to it's be appointed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will make a motion. Mm -hmm. I was, <laughs> with a yes. welcome to yes. yeah. No pressure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Once a month meetings, is that That's right? what we Okay, do. I think I can swing yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. That would mm -hmm. be awesome. Mm -hmm. We're pretty flexible. The idea of connecting with others mm -hmm. who are doing the same yeah. work. Yeah, that's great. Really appeals to me. Yeah. Yeah. How and did you find us doing? How? Because how did you this know? It might actually come be the the resource list that someone sent to my previous group that I was in. That someone has maybe compiled the resource list of groups doing this work. That's in what different I was, was going to say. If we don't and have we a list, on? I would be and happy to create. <laughs> A directory of yeah. our cousin groups. I think yeah. it's already in existence. Oh, right. I will go like, look in see? my email. Yeah. And see these? See I think these other groups have been around for more than two yeah. years. Oh no! Yeah. So, oh yeah. Why we reinvent the wheel? Nations. Yeah, we started more officially in Deerfield in 2016 after the yeah. election. Yeah. See, they were all. Yeah. 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 That's a good. Let's time. do something positive. This yes. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Okay. Oh yeah. Here. Um, Yes, so I have this document. Greenfield, Franklin Regional Council of Governments, Orange, Northampton, Hadley. You're on here. Yeah. yeah. East Hampton, Springfield, Situate, Amherst, Sharon, Beverly. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, this goes, mm -hmm. this is the whole state, state. but. Mm -hmm. um, wow, so people are looking for us, they can find us. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like poems. That's, yeah. um, that's very promising. Do you want? Okay, let me figure out how I can. Um, use that. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna reach out to this person that compiled this just to make sure it's fine if I share mm -hmm. it. Like okay. It. Yeah. And then I'll send it to you. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I send it. Yeah. That's okay. great, Megan. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Absolutely. May, may I ask? I'm just curious where in Hadley you live. Like you might be a neighbor. <laughs> We're on Lady Slipper, which is okay. off yeah. Shattuck. Where yeah. All those. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes and no. Yep. Cold stacks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's just not far from the border. Sunderland, I think. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, we, we sent, Great. Uh, I think Randy and Molly went up there before the town election, leafleting or, or you know, promoting them to get people out to vote mm -hmm. at the town election. Mm -hmm. I'd like to move that we conclude. Yes. Would that be okay? <laughs> yes. Is there anything else? Anyone else would oh, like to sorry. share? I want to make sure I know the next meeting is going to be on the second Monday. Is we that is sure? It's not a Monday. We, or, you haven't heard back from them yet. No, no. but I will. I'll confirm. So it is, right now it is tentatively, we're hoping to do it on the 8th, but if they can't do it on the 8th, we might revert to the 15th. Is that mm -hmm. fair to say? Mm -hmm. So we're tentatively so. shooting for the 8th. And we will update everyone within probably by next week. And I'd like to formally invite yes. you to the meeting. It's, it's Megan. Whatever, Megan, whatever, yes. Megan, whatever yep. status you have with applying to be on the committee. But, Great. Show up anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fine. So it's an open committee. It's open. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were, I think we started. We start with eight or nine. A bunch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and um, we had a longer list than yeah, people yeah. who actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, 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 they yeah. didn't want to appoint us with so many because we, yeah, yeah. we the, might have gone double digits. We, we became the regulars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's going to to Wayne's point about focusing meetings. Mm -hmm. Do we want to um, the the January meeting? Do we want to focus on um, resources mm -hmm. in the area. That sounds okay. good. And then maybe Megan, you could. Oh, nice. How's that? So then yeah. we have our meeting agendas. It's yeah. local preference yeah. for December, and then yeah. re resources in in um, Massachusetts towns or local towns, whatever, and the things they've been engaged in. Would you want me to invite any folks from different groups to come in and present, or sure. would you just want me to talk? No, I think yes. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think first it would be good to, to get the picture of how many there are mm -hmm. and what they're doing, mm -hmm. okay. and then make a plan okay. of how okay. we're going to connect okay. with yeah, them. So an overview at yeah. the January meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. And if you, which you always do, get the minutes a few days in advance. I like to read through so that when we get to approving minutes. Okay. You're doing such a good job. Yeah, I love the highlight. Thank you. Yeah. The highlighting is great. So did we have a motion to adjourn? I, I did that a little while ago. All right. Second. <laughs> you second? All in favor? Yes, Aye. Please. All opposed?